everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Zutian, and today I'm very excited to be here to introduce my work, Clustering Flow Game Situations with Deep Representation Learning. And first, let me introduce my team. We are a sports analytics team led by Professor Shao Liang Zhang at Tsinghua University. And we work on machine learning methods in uh, sports analytics. And as for myself, I'm now a PhD student in computer science at Brown University. But I did this work when I was an undergrad at Tsinghua University. And Xing Wang is my collaborator in this work. And now let's go into our work. In previous performance evaluation works, the researchers usually summarize a player or a team's action value according to the location on the pitch. For example, they can draw such figures to show in which areas a player create high action value. However, it is easy to say that um, possessing the ball at the same location doesn't necessarily mean they are facing the same situation. For example, in these two figures, the purple circles are the armor players, and the red circles are the teammates, and the blue circles are the defenders. And here, in the first figure, the, uh, in these two figures, the armor players are, are almost on the same location. However, in the first figure, the opponents have retreated to defense, whereas in the second figure, the onboard player is facing the last defensive line. These are two di totally different situations. So it is our motivation in this work is to tell these different situations apart in the sports analytics. We want to analyze the performance of each team or each player in each situation um, individually. So here's an overview of our contribution in this work. We use deep representation learning to extract features for states from 360 data. And then we cluster these frames in the feature space and we discover in total 95 situations in football game. And we use these discovered uh, situations to de develop situational expected threat. And we use our method to analyze the team performances of several teams in English Premier League. And we have many observations. For example, we observe that a team may play effectively in one situation, but badly in another situation, even in the same zone, which validates our motivation. And now let me introduce the technical details. Here is an overall pipeline of our method to cluster these phrase frames. It contains four steps, representation learning, splitting the pitch, clustering the frames, and finally, we analyze the property of each uh, resulting cluster. Here in the first stage, um, representation learning, we use an autoencoder to learn representations for the phrase frames in this form data. And here, the model takes in one phrase frame as input, and it gives three outputs for three different tasks. And here are the three, three representation learning tasks. The first is soft softball and diagram. It indicates the differences of the two teams in the control strengths. And the second one is past success probability. It is the past su success probability of the onboard player to other location on the pitch. And the final one is action prediction. It, it measures the probability of, of the onboard player to uh, take uh, uh, each type of next action. And after training, the model can learn some meaningful representation on the bottleneck, and we use, use this bottleneck representation as the representation for these freeze frames. And then we want to cluster these frames over this representation space. To do this, we first split the pitch into 30 different zones. And then we cluster those frames in each zone uh, individual, respectively. And uh, then we can derive many clusters in each zone. And finally, we need to understand this cluster. We analyze the property of each resulting cluster. And to analyze the property, we calculate lots of statistical attributes of the data points in each cluster. For example, in this zone 16, um, we calculate the average defensive distance and the average number of players in the frame. And we find that in the first situation, the defensive distance is large, whereas in the uh, the other two situations, the defensive distance is, is small. And moreover, in the third situation, there are few teammates in front of the onboard player, whereas in the second situation, there are more teammates in front of the onboard player. And by doing this for every 
resulting cluster. We give a textual description for each resulting cluster. We have in total 95 situations. And here are the t uh, list of the situations from the zone 17 to zone 19. And we can have some descri descriptions like processing the ball between the opponent's defensive lines or when the defensive distance is large or when there are many teammates in the penalty area. And with all these discovered situations, we develop situational expected threat. It is a Markov model regarding each discovered situation as a state. And here, the action space for a player is to pass or to carry to one zone, or he, he or she can also choose it to shoot. If he or she chooses to pass or carry, the, um, the model state will randomly transition to one situation in the target zone. And here we have a mathematical formula for this model. And by solving this formula, we can derive, derive a expected threat for each situation. And from this table, we can have many observations. For example, we find that larger defensive distance always lead to larger threat. And more teammates in front of the armor player can also lead to larger threat. And with this metric, we can evaluate an action by the uh, expected threat difference before and after this action, which is a very real way in sports analytics. And with these techniques, now let's go into the applications. In this work, we focus on open play events, and we use onboard on open play events in games between 10 selected teams in English Premier League 21 22 season to develop all the aforementioned models. But I want to mention, even though our model is uh, developed in this part of our data, it can also be used to analyze other leagues or other, other seasons. So we release our model on GitHub. You can feel free to use it to analyze other games. And for each team in each situation, we develop four metrics to describe their playing styles and playing strengths. The first one is created occurrence. It is how many times the team encountered each situation when they are in attack. This indicates their offensive style. And the second one is created, created additional expected threat. It is the XT difference created by this team in this situation when they are in, in attack. This indicates their offensive streams. And the third one, considered occurrence. It is how many times this team encountered each situation when they are in defense. So this can demonstrate their defensive style. And the last one is considered XT. It is the total X differences created by their opponents when this team is in defense. So this demonstrates their defensive strengths. And this figure shows the uh, created occurrences of the 10 team in the uh, midfield from zone 14 to zone uh, 19. And uh, in this figure, deeper rise indicates that this team met, each this, met this situation more. So in this figure, we can say different teams have differences in which situation they encountered more. For example, if we concentrate on situation 16, we can say Manchester City, Chelsea, and Liverpool encounter the first and second situation more, where they are possessing the ball in front of the opponent's defensive line. Uh, and on the contrary, Leeds United, Brentford, and Liverpool, oh, sorry, Everton, encounter the third situation more, where they are possessing the ball between the opponent's defensive lines. We believe this is caused by their counter-attack counter playing style. And here is their created action value in this area. And in this figure, deeper red indicates a higher action value, and deeper blue indicates a lower action value. From this figure, we can see one team may attack effectively in one situation, but badly in another situation, even they are in the same zone. For example, if we focus on Manchester City, in the zone um, 16, Manchester City create much action value in the second situation, but much lower action value in the first, first situation. In the second situation, they are putting the ball in front of the defensive line with small defensive distance, whereas in the first situation, the defensive distance is large. And we investigate the reason behind. And in the uh, situation 16-2, 
they create in total 0 0.0040 value per game. And we find that out of this value, 0 0.0063 are contributed by the library passes, just like this value. And here is another library pass. Uh, you can see it's it's very similar. And this explains why they can perform effectively in this situation. And now let's focus on another situation, another zone, zone 29. And in this, uh, and in uh, here, if we again focus on Manchester City, we can say they um, created the most action value in the first situation, but the lowest action value in the second situation. In the first situation, the defensive distance is large, whereas in the second situation, the defensive distance is small. So we again investigate the reason, and we find that in the first situation, uh, situation 29.1, actually in this situation, the defensive distance is large, uh, which indicates the pressure is low. So we find that they create, uh, they did many excellent crosses without pressure in this situation, like this video. And actually, they are try many ways to create a space for crossing. For example, in this video, they create space by switching. So they can have uh, opportunity to cross without pressure. And we can also compare their performance with other teams' performance. For example, if we focus on Tottenham, actually they create much high action value in the second situation, where Manchester, Manchester City create low action value in this situation. And again, we investigate the reason. Actually, in the second situation, the defensive, defensive distance is small, so the pressure is high. And we find that uh, Tottenham made many excellent crosses on the and here is another crossing under pressure. So this, this explains why they perform effectively in this situation. And now let's go into the defensive performance. Here is the considered occurrence. Recall this concept. It is how many times each team encounters each situation when they are in defense. So in, in this figure, we can say different teams May, ha um, may force the game into different situations when they are in defense. For example, again, in, in the um, zone 11, we can see Metro City and Liverpool encounter the first situation and the third, third situation more. And in the second situation, they are possessing the ball in front of the defensive line, and the defensive distance is small. And in the third situation, they are possessing the ball between the opponent's defensive line. We believe this is caused by their high-pressing defensive strategy. And on the contrary, Tottenham, Manchester United, and Everton encountered the first situation more, where they are possessing the ball in front of their, the opponent's defensive line with large defensive distance. We believe this is caused by their low-block defensive strategy. And here is their considered action value in this area. And from here, uh, in this figure, deeper blue indicates lower action value created by their opponents. So deeper blue indicates better defensive performance. And again, we can say one team may have strong defensive performance in one situation, but bad defensive performance in another situation in the same zone. For example, Manchester United, Manchester United considered less action value in the first situation where their opponents are possessing the ball in front of their defensive line with large defensive distance. And in the third situation, they considered much high action value where their opponents are possessing the ball in between their defensive lines. And we can also investigate the reason behind. And we find that their considered action value in the situation 11-3 are mostly contributed by their opponents' long carries to the final third. Like, and also here is another long carry. Actually, when their opponents are in counter-attack, they have trouble preventing their opponents from such long carries. And here is another example. So this is the reason why they have so bad defensive, def uh, defensive performance in this situation. 
And as I said before, although our method is developed using part of the data, it can be used to analyze other leagues or other seasons. So we did this um, on the uh, English Premier League 2223 season, and we investigate whether there are some performance changes between the 2221, oh, sorry, 2221, and 2223 seasons. And we focus on Arsenal, who finished the fifth place in the 2221-22 season, but the second place in the 2223 season. And when we investigate their, uh, their uh, created occurrence in the midfield, we find that their uh, offensive pattern almost leaves no change. However, if we check their created action value, we can see their, we can see in some zones, their uh, offensive effectiveness is improved. And we, we, I refer you to our paper for further analysis. And in conclusion, in this work, we use deep representation learning to derive features for states from 360 freeze frames, and we cluster these frames over the representation space and to discover different situations in the football game. And we develop situational expected threat using the discovered situations. Uh, and in the analysis part, we have many observations. Uh, the first observation is that different teams may encounter the same situation with different frequencies. And the second observation is that one team may play effectively in one situation, but better in another situation, even in the same area. And finally, the tactical styles and strengths may change or not change across seasons, which can be analyzed by our method. And that's all I have today. Thank you for your listening. Thank you, Zitian. Uh, in terms of, so you, you split the pitch into the zones. Yeah, yeah. How did you choose those zones, or did you test different configurations? Or? Uh, actually, we, um, we borrowed some ideas from some zone split method uh, that, uh, that the analysts are uh, use. Uh, and actually, we focus more on the attacking half. And you can see more, there are more zones in the attacking half, but with fewer zones in the defensive half. So more into more from a practitioner-led sort yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.